Good morning, everyone. Fraser, find of the day. In my uh, work clothes, I've just nipped down to Black Swan. There is a new arrival in for the year, uh, one which I'd predicted across our group because um, we're pretty much overdue for the date of this bird. Uh, it's an oyster catcher. I didn't think it was going to be easy to find because it said um, on the island, but as it happens, it's on the raft, so in full visibility. Let me show you. There's the raft. And uh, if we zoom up a bit more, we should be able to make out uh, the back. In fact, I think a gull's gone and landed right in front of it, but behind it, there is a black and white bird, which uh, if it wanted to cooperate, so I'm just trying to steady it a bit because I've uh, still not got uh, the setup as I really want it. So yeah, just steadying it a little bit, you can see behind the right hand three, right hand girls on the right. <laughs> At the right hand end of the raft, you can make out three girls and behind the left hand of the three is the oyster catcher. Not what you'd call a stunning view. Uh, just flying into the foreground and landing on the uh, orangey yellow boy, there was a common girl as well. And um, yeah, the, sh the uh, oyster catcher is a brand new bird for the year. Highly predicted uh, time of year for it. Uh, quiet, bright morning. I can hear sun crashes again in the background. Haven't got long, I'm on my way to a work appointment, but um, my motto is uh, always have your equipment somewhere pretty near so you can uh, jump when you need to. So there you go, the goal's moved out of the way a little bit. Let's zoom in up. That'll do us. It's like they often do before <clears throat> a mate arrives, like they often do before a mate arrives, it's gone to sleep. But it's come here uh, to get into its breeding territory, start displaying, making a lot of noise. My assumption is that it's the male that would arrive first to set up territory and uh, basically try and win the uh, heart and loyalty of the first female that arrives. So there you have it, a lovely year tick, a lovely bird. I'll hopefully show you better footage of that in the coming weeks because it's a stunner and I'm um, pretty happy with that. I'm easy to please. What a bit of joy. The uh, oyster catcher has just come and landed on the raft in front of us. Hopefully this will be in focus. It looks roughly in focus. Look at him. What a beauty. Great big orange carrot bill. White underparts, jet black upper parts, lovely um, eye colour. They got a lovely, lovely um, alarm call and uh, display call. And uh, he was having a go at the uh, moorhen on the jetty there, but uh, what a little stunner. Beautiful. Come on, there we go. Probably not really worth zooming up anymore. You what you sort of a 101 in um, scope stuff is uh, you can zoom st stuff right up, but like um, close photography or well zoomed photography, it, it all gets pixelated all so quickly. And amazingly enough, considering where we are uh, at the Dinton Activity Centre, DAC as we often refer to it, it's stunning that um, someone hasn't walked along the beach and allowed their dog to charge up and down and um, they're not hugely skittish but they certainly wouldn't tolerate uh, too much um, too close a presence of a dog um, it's just about the busiest part of the country park so you know beautiful bird in the sunshine February the 5th people passing in front of us any moment He's having another little stare at the uh, moorhen. Whether it's because moorhens are quite a lot of black on them, that's the first time he's actually turned around so we can see him side on uh, more or less properly. That bird with the black head, about three back from the black headed girls in the middle. I just thought I'd have a quick two minute scan and oh my goodness, this is bird of the day. That is an adult winter med girl. The black on the uh, white on the forehead, excuse me, is uh, signs that he's. Just coming out, hang on, let me get to black on, the white on the forehead is the um, last bit of his winter malt. Look at that, beautiful boy. Most obvious things about this bird, have a go at a black headed girl now. The obvious things about this bird is it's got a much uh, more obvious, thicker red bill and note the 
feathers, the back feathers, the primary feathers, have no black in them. It is a white-winged gull, as they're called. Terrible um, tracking on my part, but nonetheless, sticks out like a sore thumb to a trained eye. No black in the wings, bright red bill, thicker red bill at that, and um, absolutely stunning. This is a year tick for the park. I am super elated, super, super elated. Oh my goodness, wow, I, I was waiting. I couldn't wait for this to happen and I'm so pleased it has. I've found a good bird, unlike the goose sander which flew over, which I couldn't show you. Um, came here for one thing, looking for a noise to catch, I found that. Had a little scan, insurance, insurance policy scan for, for something else and Medgull just ping, bow, there you go, Medgull. Year tick, stunning. I am Fraser Cottington. This is find of the day, adult winter Medgull. Kitchen!